Hello there, Shelly Rocks. Welcome to Backbone. So, this is, uh, it's styled as a uh, pixel adventure game. Uh, it's by a developer called Eggnut, and this is the prologue, which is free to download. Uh, it's coming out in 2020, so it's a uh, noir-inspired detective adventure, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool because it does. It says you are a raccoon and private eye. How can that not be good? So let's check it out. I'm going to do a new game, and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> there we are, raccoon in the bath having a cigarette. I'm reading the book. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we got a phone call. So this does, look, this does does look nice. I was recommended by a few people this game. So, okay, here we go. Sorry, miss your call. Yeah, no problems. 27 on the buzzer. It looks like we've got someone visiting us. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, so we move around with the A and D, or the um, left and right uh, uh, controls on the uh, cursors. Uh, e, interactive objects. Okay. E to close. Okay, so we need to clean up. Um, I guess that's the door. There's case files. Insurance fraud, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of those. Some of those old case files eventually. Okay. So let's, let's go to the living room. Okay. Media set. This thing stopped working a long time ago. Got to hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fustale when I have cash, so never. Okay, notes on fridge. What have we got? Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Photo chemicals. Is this from developing our own stuff? Leaving developers in a kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Okay, window. Hard to get tired of this view. Okay, looks like I've got some negatives over here. Okay, so we've got a toilet in here. Oh, look, toilet books. The Great Apes, a great story. Swell toilet read, better leave it here. Okay. Not an awful lot for me to uh, interact with. Okay, let's go back to the office. Okay, what's this? Oh, place chemicals. Here we go. Everything knows its proper place. Hee! Okay, inspect desk. Okay, so we're going to use the mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Right, so we want the bowl. Um, what else is there? this case file 147 John D insurance fraud O Green at 4 p.m. so is that who's coming to visit then O Green let's see guess we're just gonna wait for this O Green to turn up now we go back to the living room we, can we wait wonder what these old weather stones would say if they could talk howie I grew a new vine today <laughs> do you like it Oh, place dishes. Okay, so we're washing our dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. I think we're pretty much ready. Here we go. This is Mr. Green. Okay. Oh, Miss Green. Excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Okay, I gather you got a case for me, Mrs. Green. Well, I do. I am... Um, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Okay. Is he missing? If only. F would be much simpler if he was. Okay. How so? Excuse me? Well, that's a cryptic way to put it. What do you mean? Oh, no, I didn't mean, of course. It was just a way to say it's just an express. What? You're not in any danger. Of course not. I'd go to the police force for something like that. Right. He suspects he's cheating on you. Pretty sure he is, but I won't have enough in court. I need proof. Okay, so are you filing for divorce? That's right. Above all, I need something damning. Enough that custody won't ever be a question. Okay, uh, has your husband ever threatened to take the children? Frankly, I think that's none of your concern. Okay. Um, tell me how you caught with the affair. He hasn't been hiding well. His behaviour is abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies and smells funny. Okay, what's the smell? Light perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. It's poignant. It's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Okay. Um, at what point does he get home? 
way past work hours, unreasonably so and drunk. One time I stayed up and asked him what he was doing. It didn't go well. Okay, how do you know he's been missing, missing work? Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to be terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for a couple of times. Okay, has he been aggressive? Okay, don't think it's irrelevant. Um, let's talk case details. Okay, so what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses. Square kind. And his wedding band. Okay, where can I find him usually? Supposedly he goes to work and then comes home. I know sometimes he goes somewhere else other than work. Occasionally before, now it's become more frequent. Okay, so... Can I pick him out from the crowd? Okay, he has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Right, have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them. He mentioned some guys from time to time. Okay, what's his full name? Jeremy Green. Jez for short. He works at Wolf Bank. Okay. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. So we're going to try and spot this otter. That's going to be, is that going to be hard or easy? I've got a lot riding on this. I can only get one shot. Funds are limited. Okay, I'm good at what I do. I hope so. It's important you don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course, I'll get right on it. Talk soon. Okay, so we're going to go and look for this mysterious otter. Press tab to access the detective menu. Okay. So my objective is to find Jeremy and evidence of his infidelity. He works at Wolf Bank on Granville. And then we've completed the tidy up thing, so I think we can go. So we need to go to Wolf Bank. This is pretty interesting, so we're doing a bit of a... Ooh, look, that does look nice. See why you all said it looked good. Granville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Okay, here's the squirrel. Can we talk to the squirrel? Hey, what's up, old man? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen him around? Ah, man, sorry. What are you, some kind of pervert? Uh, right, let's... I don't want to talk to them too much. This is a lawyer's office. Furman and Sons. Furman, one slick silver tevil... Silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Posters, the great apes, the great story, documentary, a story of order, a story of courage, a story of justice. I'm running for a year now. Uh, is that an otter? It's a beaver, I think. Hey, my man, where to? I'm looking for someone. Got a moment? Nah, I've no business remembering people. Want to hear a great story? Okay. So, my wife, Estrella, and I, we got a second lad coming up soon. Okay. It's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, woman, you're getting any bigger and I won't fit you in some trunk of a car. You scallywag you. She turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, hand me the bread, honey. Ah, oh boy, women, man. Okay, listen, um, they love bread. So we break news to our boy Victor. Son, you're going to be a bro soon. He's like, oh no, what's it mean? What's he talking about? I teach him. Mom and dad I work hard. So apes give us a chance to have another baby. Baby boy just like you. Sure is. I can't stop talking to him. Little Victor. Poor soul starts laughing. Oh daddy, we're going to be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure son, but here's a catch. There's a catch? If daddy has two baby bros to take care of, baby bros now have zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha ha. Okay, that's like a dark turn. You okay, man? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what are you doing here? Okay, he's finished talking. I'm looking for this guy. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I've seen him. Jokey joke type of guy. Smells really bad. Took him out of the bite home a couple of times. Okay. What does he smell like? Poopy kind. Mixed with perfume, cigarettes and herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Okay, have you talked to him? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell talked for him. Where can I find him? Don't know. Try to bite. It's a goopy place. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so we've got a place called the Goopy Place. Don't know what that is. Vogue. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world won't be so sad. This is so funky. Okay, let's close that. Dr. Cyclops. The poster. 
Eden Simmons is a rising jazz star. See her tonight only at Bike Club. Neat, should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Okay, so here's the bank, look. Wolf Bank, this is where he works. Let's try and talk to the employees. Right. Okay, you folks work at the bank. Uh, is Jez around? Who are you? Uh, let's say he's using money. We'll say hi to Derek here because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Okay, hi Derek. When's the last time you saw him? Today. He left early. He's scared Derek's going to split his wig. Did something happened at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. He had it coming. Okay, where do you think he did after work? Okay, could be with his girlfriend. If you reckon he got a girlfriend, sure. Could be one of them for all I know. Did you spend time outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bikes every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though. Okay. Ooh, if he is at the bikes, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Okay. They're helpful. Helpful bunch of guys. Okay, so here's the bite. So what is this club? Hmm. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. This bear is not going to let me in, is he? Okay, let's try. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My, my friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something. What do you need? Let's try that. Oh, no. Get me a personal inv invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal. Hmm, sure. Bye. Right. You know what this means? This means we're going around the back. Let's try and go around the alley. Now, this looks sketchy. This looks sketchy. It's Larry. Howard, well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Um, Same old can't complain. What's going on with you? I'm happy for you. My gig kind of went downhill since then. Okay, what happened? Ran out of places to crash. What are you doing here? Have you seen an otter near here recently? What did he do? Um, Just messed up his marriage. Likely do. What's he like? Uh, he's about my height, wears a green hat. Okay, let's show him the photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'll, I'm here often and hear people talk. Okay, catch you later then. What's this on the wall? Art is our only salvation from the horror of existence. Okay, there's an intercom here though. What's this do? No answer. Okay. Don't think we're... Can we interact with this one? Who's this one? This mysterious one. Okay, that didn't go as well as planned. Um, What's this? Luscious. $14.99 for a trim. What madman would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Okay. Control for crouch mode and press control again to stand up. Now, why would I want to crouch? Shoot, that's Downey right there is the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Okay. <laughs> We're going to sleep. We're going to sneak past then. Now, can he, has he got line of sight though? Okay, what's this? Rico Mart. Old owners still tend into the shop like always. Used to give me free candy when I was a kid. I should go say hi to him before he gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Maybe next time. What is oh it's birds. Birds on top of there. Okay, maybe I need to go and get some new clothes. Rich people's clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Okay, maybe we're not gonna get new clothes then. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then proceeded to puke out his not digested tuna burger onto my coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Okay, dumpster diving, let's see. Socks, takeaway bottle, six. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thank you. Yes. Let's go and talk to him as well. Who's this? Press. Um, Fancy some fresh news. Fine. Okay, what's the headline today? Great eight parade pre preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Okay, I need to get back. Um, We need to sneak back under here again. Yeah, let's sneak back away from this guy again. 
Oh, it's so moody. Look at that, look at that one up there, just sitting, sitting in the window, just chilling. Right, so we've got an invitation now. Let's go and show the uh, bouncer my invitation. Right, I have the ticket right here. What is this? Ha ha, you're a funny little fella. So can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. Thanks for a good laugh. Okay. You're welcome. Can I get in? No, don't test my patience. Oh, how am I going to get in here? I literally don't know how to get in here. Let's try and talk to him again. Right, can I get inside? Still no, don't ask again. Run towards... Oh, he, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Oomph. Let's go and see. Let's go and talk to... Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Got to be a way of getting inside. Right, squirrel. Okay, what's up, old man? What about you, young man? Hang in, what are you doing? Okay, uh, solving a case. Exciting, what case? Uh, someone's missing. Wait, wait, who? Can't tell you detective secrets. Ooh, well, tell me later then. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we've exhausted all the chat with him. So it's got to be something... There's got to be something we've not interacted with. Right, we looked at the posters. We looked in there. Got to be a way of getting inside. Try talking to them. They don't really seem interested in talking to me anymore. The bouncer will not just let me in. Let's try the alley again. Maybe something new's come up. Okay, Larry. Okay, I got the lead. The bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter. That's weird. Right, any ideas how I can get in? Ooh, a good disguise. Let's have a little look. You're in luck. There's my ne they're my neighbours. Let's see. They use this alley door for deliveries, or you can ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Okay, so who's Johnny? Squirrel kid of a leather jacket. He's a pusher. Okay. Uh, easy access to the back door. Unfortunately, no. They bust people and use the intercom. Okay. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? Far as I can tell you, catnip and shatterfang. Get this, he started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Right, do you think he'd help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings, he's easy to persuade the bouncer. Okay, so what's Monkey Butt? It's the new stuff, perhaps a little bit figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing, now. It smells, and the otter. I'm thinking of something. Okay, um... So he's friendly with the staff. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Right, maybe Johnny's got some sort of partnership business with the bites. Right. Okay, uh, tell me more about Johnny then. I don't know him very well. He's young and likes his fur gel. Okay. So... I think that's enough information for now. So he likes fur gel. We've seen a shop, haven't we? Can we go into the drugstore? What about, can we go into the Quickie Mart? Now, how am I going to get in here? Can we get in here? I want to go in there. I reckon if we get some hair gel. Right, where else is... We've visited everywhere, really. Right, we're going to have to go back. We're going back. We, we just need to keep avoiding him. I don't think he's going to be too uh, impressed. Right, let's go back and talk to the squirrel. And see what he's got to say. There we go. Okay, are you Johnny? Who's asking? Howard, nice meeting you, Johnny. Fit name for a grown-ass man in the trench coat. What do you need? Um, I heard you can get me into the bite. Depends why. I want that. Yeah, let's try that. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Who told you that? Uh, a friend. Okay. Just leave me through the bounces, all I'm asking. 
Hank has good reasons for not letting any weirdos in. I might help. What's in it for me? Not much, just an amazing feeling you get. Chill, I'm a detective. Let's try that one. What are you serious? Prove it. Um, I'm recruiting the trench coat. Trench coat, do you think I was... I would ask you if I wasn't serious. You have to trust me. I don't need to prove anything. I might consider not turning into the cops. Oh, let's not do that. Okay. Let's see. Um... Let's try this one, the police dog. Okay, so he's gonna get me in. <laughs> nice. He's not. He's not too happy with my uh, threatening to uh, grass him up to the police, though. Right. So we need to. Uh, where is he? Here he is. Talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Okay. Okay. Here's Johnny. Hey Johnny, where you been? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay, we are in the club. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies, all a little too high-end for my tastes. Okay, Renee. Who's Renee? Well, you're unusual. Sorry? You're unusual. It means you come with a story. I love a good story. Okay, I'm Howard Loter. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Okay, well, I'm Howard tonight. Delightful. Have you ever snurred anyone before? You're my first. Let's celebrate sometime. Take my card. Oh, he's a journalist. It was lovely meeting you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. Okay. Here's Colby. Hey there. You're here for Eddie Simmons' show too. I'm so happy to see her live finally. Um, I'm looking for a friend. I don't know him, maybe. I wasn't paying close attention. Couldn't be sure. Okay, do you see Adele Simmons is playing? She sounds good. Probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Okay, you sound like a fan. This is the sort of music she plays, or does she play her often? Sounds like a fan we've gone for. I've got a record player just for her. Maybe seems a bit extravagant. Definitely worth the investment. She's mostly all I listen to. Okay, is it the first time you catch her live? Yeah, my mum doesn't approve of this place. I had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Okay, this is some funky music. Good music, sounds like it was worth it. Well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Okay, let's show the photo again. I think I saw him walking earlier tonight. Um, Did you see where he went? I saw him come in, talk to the Afghan lady in the jade colored dress. Ah, okay, thanks, enjoy the show. Now this is the Afghan lady, I think. Audrey, isn't this too dreamy? Okay, I love this music. Okay, wanna dance for me? Hmm, sorry, no. Okay, can you answer some questions for me? Not really, leave me alone. Okay, maybe that isn't the person. It's an Afghan, is this an Afghan? This has gotta be the Afghan. Hey honey, name's Ingrid. Okay, I'm looking for a friend. He's an otter. Uh, haven't seen any about tonight. He wears square glasses. I haven't seen your friend. Maybe he's late. We're supposed to meet here. Yeah, Jez, Jez loves this place. Okay, don't think I've heard of him. Okay, that's strange. He's, he's, yeah, that's that's a good choice to do, the second one. Don't exactly keep tabs on bar customers. That's out of my purview. Uh, what would you recommend while I'm waiting for Jez? Okay, why don't you get a drink? You can either sit at a table or wait for Kira or go straight and ask at the bar. Okay, you could say I'm part of the staff. So who is she? This must be the person we need. What exactly do you do? Depends on who's asking and how much money they'll have to spend. Okay, sounds like if I'm broke, I might have luck. Sorry, honey. I'll be back once I win the lottery. Okay, that isn't the person we need then. We need to find this Afghan. Okay, that bird is over there. I don't think I want to go near that. You look a little lost. Is that obvious? I wouldn't have bothered pointing out otherwise. Okay, uh, this isn't my usual scene. Okay, what brings you here today? Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Um, Wouldn't dream of it. Trying to break out the routine. How's that working out for you? 
Uh, pretty well. That makes two of us. To whom do I owe the pleasure? I say Wallace. Pleasure is mine, Wallace. What do you do? Quick gigs here and there. A man of fluid nature, I see. I'm Clisso Bloodworth. I own it. Okay. You've got a great ambience and lovely music. Thanks. I quite strive to offer high entertainment at the bite. And you accelerate. So do you have any leisure tips? I could arrange boy here to... Boy. I could arrange boy here to make something up for you. Uh, some say the food my chef is to die for or relax and enjoy the show. Um, I was looking for an otter gentleman. Uh, let's say we have lots to talk about. You're lying to me. Okay. Telling the truth with co-workers. What's the problem? Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, you're doing a terrible job of being coy and it's just in bad taste. Uh, okay. I'd rather stay. Oh, I insist. Or I should ask Hank to take care of you. No, okay. Well, that's gone really well. I've just been chucked out. <laughs> I've just been chucked out of the bar. It's not gone too good. So we've got a new objective. So what is my new objective? I need to find my way back inside. But yeah, pretty interesting so far. So yeah, this is Backbone. If you want to see some more of this, let me know. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.